What is going on guys, Slippy here, and today we're going to be talking about 1.49 and more particularly the new airplanes in 1.49. So they're adding a lot of new airplanes and they're pretty cool, the ones that they're adding. They're, except for one of them, I'm gonna have, I'll, you'll understand my gripe with one of them, but um, for the rest of them, I'm actually really excited to fly all the planes, test them out and see what they are so the first and the big one of the new planes is the sky raider now the sky raider is a u.s uh attack aircraft that was used for over 40 years so this plane was made in 45 and it was used up until the late 80s which is insane of course it wasn't used until the late 80s by america but it was used by other nations until the late 80s this plane had 15 external hardpoints and could carry up to 8,000 pounds of ordnance, and it used anything. You know, it had mine dispensers, rockets, you know, machine gun, like everything. It could carry anything, bombs, torpedoes. Um, it was armed with four 20 millimeter cannons, and it was just an all-around attack aircraft. It was known to take hits and not go down. It's similar to what we have now, which is the A-10 Thunderbolt. It would just desecrate an area you know completely torch it destroy it bomb it it could stay up in the air for 10 hours it was a fantastic ground strike aircraft and i'm sure it helped a lot of troops on the ground now this plane um it's it was used in korea uh vietnam and it was made obviously too late to see service in world war ii it was also a naval based aircraft but you know you could use them from the land obviously too but it was uh, it was operated off of Essex class carriers, um, and especially when they had jets. So when we converted over to jets, we had jets in on these new aircraft. They still use Essex class carriers with Sky Raiders on them to do a short ground support roles and stuff like that. A funny story about this plane is its only air victory during Korea was killing a Po two. So one of these planes killed a Po-2, you know, like the, the little Russian biplanes that can't even fly over 200 kilometers an hour. So that was its only Korean air kill during the war. Now the next plane that is said to come out is the IL-2-1943, and this is the plane that I have a gripe with. I didn't, I didn't write anything down about it. It's an IL-2. I am sick of IL-2s. We have so many in the game already. Stop adding the same plane, Gaijin. Please add something new. All right, the next thing is actually a really, really cool aircraft. So they're adding the Arado C3. Now, the C versions of the Arado had quadruple BMW 003 engines. So it had four engines, two on each wing. And it also was armed with 220s, uh, MG151s underneath the nose. So not only can this thing bomb, it's going to be almost, I wouldn't say twice as fast, obviously, but it's going to be a lot faster than the normal Arado. And I'm sure it's still going to be as maneuverable, but it also has guns, so you no longer have to just go ram the enemies <laughs> because you have nothing else to do. You're in Arado. No, you have guns. You can fight. For Britain, they're getting a lot of planes, and there are a lot of cool planes in this update, and I'm really, really excited. Also, um, back onto Germany, they're adding a cockpit for the HS-129. Now let's jump back to Britain. So they're adding two variants of the Firefly. Now, if you guys don't know what the Firefly is, it is a early mid-war um, prop aircraft. It wasn't put into operation until the late war, but it was made in 41. So it was put into service in 43, didn't get to operations in 44. Um, but it was a naval-based fighter, attacker, multi-role aircraft. And it had a really cool design. It was good for reconnaissance because it had a back seat with, like, in the fuselage it had, um, you'll see it, there's going to be a picture on screen, it had a window so you could see out of it. It was um, two-person two, two aircraft, I believe, two or three, and um, it was really, really neat aircraft. And they were used in Korea and stuff as well. So next thing, I don't have much written down about it because it's pretty pretty simple but they're adding the sea fire now the sea fire is a C variant of the spitfire so it is the spitfire but it has collapsible wings and could take off from the carrier so that's pretty interesting i'm glad they're adding that 
Now, my favorite thing that they're adding from this patch is the Sea Fury. I've been waiting for this plane forever. The Sea Fury is the predecessor to the Tempest. And you guys know that the Tempest and me get along very well, and I'm sure me and the Sea Fury are going to get along very well. This plane is one of the fastest prop planes ever built. It was fantastic. It was used for around 10 or 11 years, I believe. Um, it was used in Korea. It had multiple roles. It could obviously be a pretty good ground attack aircraft. The, the, the Hawker planes are generally big. They could carry a decent amount of bombs. I think this thing could carry 2,000 pounds of bombs. And it was armed with four Hispano Mark V cannons, which are obviously, you know, really good. Um, especially you put air targets in those bad boys. Funny story about this plane is that it actually... I wrote down the guy's name. So Peter Hoagie Carmichael. I believe I said that right. He shot down a MiG-15 in a Sea Fury, which is one of the only prop-killing jet, you know, fights in history. Now, what happened was it was some Fireflies and some Sea Furies flying a mission in Korea, and they got jumped by eight MiG-15s, and they survived all of them survived the one firefly got damaged i don't know how he just got damaged getting hit with a 37 but i guess uh the uh, the reg wasn't on that day or he had a couple he had like 130 ping or whatever but um this guy actually shot down one of the mig 15s that attacked them which is crazy to think about you know it's one thing if you do it in a game where you have a reticle and you have target distance and you can follow them you know what I mean? And you have this red square around them. But in real life, I don't think um, people understand how fast a jet is moving. You know, a sky is open. There is nowhere you can, like, hide or, like, stay close. Like, a jet will move away to and from very fast. And it's a very small target, you know. To, to catch that in your eye, to pull on it and shoot it, that's beyond me. That's something I probably could not have done. And that is insane. So they're also uh, adding the attacker FB1, which is a, you know, uh, just a normal jet. It was armed with four Hispano Mark Fives. Um, they had 120 rounds each, so this thing can carry what 480 rounds. So it's not going to have a lot of rounds. It's going to be a low tier jet, but I think it'll be good because it'll add some spacing. Um, you know, it'll add more to the low tier jet category. Uh, I'm not too excited about this plane, to be honest. It's just it's another low tier jet. I I see it as being like a P80 almost. Um, maybe not as OP. We hope not. Hopefully it doesn't get buffed like that. Um, they're also adding a cockpit for the Canberra, and that's all I'm gonna touch on. They're also adding the Kai 21 and the J2 M2, but I didn't really look into those. If you want to see, there's gonna be a link in the description for the War Thunder post. And if you guys want to look up the planes, feel free. Go on Wikipedia, look at the planes, watch some documentaries on YouTube. But I will be hitting you guys up very soon with a ground force um, hype video because they're coming out with some really, really cool tanks, including the Hellcat, the M10 Wolverine, the T95. Oh, I just, don't even get me started, guys. Don't even get me started. So I'll see you guys soon. Oh, wait, before I leave and say that, um, f so what I want you guys to do is leave in the comments the way I should, like, exit the video for the next one, and we're going to do that every video. So you guys just leave in a comment, tell me what I should say to to say goodbye um, for every video, you know what I mean? So that we're just going to, it's going to be something that you guys tell me to do. I'll pop the comment up on screen, and then I'll say that. So it could be anything. Um, just put it, like, make sure you put a title to it, like, uh, for your next video, say, and then have, like, colon, and then, and then put it. So anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Have a good one.